I need to cut on my motherfucking notification for this shit because I'd be missing these videos. Fuck your couch. Fuck your couch. It's another episode of Fuck Your Couch. Fuck your couch. Fuck your couch. Me out, you won't drive me crazy. Let me out, you won't drive me crazy. I hit the joint, yeah, you still drive me crazy. So let me out. So long you've been away Only way I can convey To you is to all the sad music Every day Sad music, sad music She broke my heart and now I'm listening to You guys doing alright out there? Um Prayers to everybody that's going through this hurricane shit, tornadoes, tsunami season, Florida, the island shit, you know what I mean? Like, prepping them people. But, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Fuck your couch. So crazy challenge. No, no, it's not so crazy challenge. So Brooklyn, so Brooklyn, Casanova. Casanova started that fucking So Brooklyn challenge, and everybody and their mamas on that shit. Well, I'm gonna set it off with like the battle rappers. They got one. Yeah, you know I mean, they got a section. It's a bunch of niggas, you know, fucking turk, uh, twerk, rock, you know, other motherfuckers. They got some shit cracking. Yeah, you know I mean, as far as that goes. Um, so Philly, them niggas is ignorant. I just seen some So Philly fucking uh videos, and them niggas is. They going hard, but some niggas is doing dumb shit and like, mew, 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 mew. I'm like, what the fuck is that shit about? That's the first, that was the first one I seen. I'm like, the fuck is this shit? Mew, 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 mew. It's like three of them. Like, they was really going hard or some shit, you know what I mean? But, um, uh, you know, check that out when you get a motherfucking chance, you know what I mean? It's out here on YouTube. It's a bunch of them, you know what I mean? Papoose got one. <clears throat> anyway, moving on from this to, uh... So Brooklyn challenge, the fuck. Anyway, rap snacks. Another news. Rap snacks is being put in Walmart. I know if anybody in the hood eat rap snacks, I don't know if you knew, but Master Pete on the motherfuckers. <clears throat> so yes, you should see them in your local Walmart real soon. Do the Master P. And speaking of entrepreneurs, <laughs> Big Draco. Drake? No, Big Draco. Soldier Boy. You got his ass out of jail. I said he gained 50 pounds. Still got that dye patch in his hair. It didn't get any bigger, but his face is real big. Look at me. I don't know if he's swole. He could just be fat. You know, niggas just get in there and eat a bunch of potatoes and shit, too. But anyway, Draco is free. You know what I'm saying? Yay. He can get back to the music, get back to the bag, all that old fresh shit. You know what I mean? Uh... Yeah, three six mafia, 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 <laughs> mafia, mafia, mafia. Yo, yo, they on a tour right now across America and shit, which is great, dope. Because for years, uh, there was speculation of the group, of the group getting back together after uh, you know Juicy J and Project Platinum had that little show. They was like, nah, we're not doing none of that shit. We just run that Grammy. Uh, Whatever the fuck. But anyway, they finally got back together with their, all the original members, with the exception of the one that's dead, of course. That means that's Gangsta Boo, not Little Chat. You know what I mean? No disrespect to Little Chat, but Gangsta Boo was the original chick in the fucking, you know, in the group. So, that's what's up. It's good to see them together. You know what I mean? Because everybody's getting bread. You know, the level of bread is different because everybody's individuals. So, you know that Juicy J is probably the most paid out of all of them. So, yeah, everybody just, you know, they get named bread. It's dope, though. They dope. It's dope. You know, things came together for the bag. I mean, which is cool. And, uh, sidebar. I just saw Busy Bone. Got a new video. And I got a mistake. Called, uh, Alpha Mentality. It's pretty, pretty decent. He's, uh, gunning for the Migos still. Because, you know, they was talking shit about them. And I don't think they really ever got over that. <clears throat> but, yeah, a new song called Alpha Mentality. And another video I just saw also. Red Man. Has a new video called Black Man. Something like that. I think it's Black Man or... I literally just fucking seen it. But yeah, Red Man. For all my Red Man fans. Nigga, Red Man has a new motherfucking video. 
So, uh, if y'all been waiting on some new shit from him, y'all should check it out. It's a new Redman video out. You know what I mean? And there's also a new Freddie Gibbs video. This nigga is going for like Oscar or Grammy at a motherfucking year because every fucking video for this goddamn album thus far has been something like a fucking movie or some little mini film and shit. Like Crown Pays was a little mini film. The other one with the plug on the water and shit. And now this one where this nigga woke up 20, 30 years in the motherfucking future in the goddamn hospital with this Moses ass beard and this nappy ass wig on. <laughs> the fuck? This nigga is fucking stupid. Half man, half cocaine is the name of the fucking video. That shit is dope. You know what I mean? That shit is dope. It's fuck. It's kind of funny. That nigga gives, man. He's he's funny for real, for real, low key. He's actually funny. Um, shout out to my guy, Millie Mazin. But my bad, I forgot to mention this in the new videos. Millie Mazin dropped the video, Young, Rich, and Humble. Can't see his own. Salute to my guy. You know what I mean? And uh, uh I don't know. I don't know. I think I think that's about it. Yeah. So, you know, I put my feet on a nigga's couch because, you know, I was about to go work on this Cadillac Carter, right? You know what I'm saying? This Cadillac Converter, right quick. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, uh, y'all be safe out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't hurt nobody. Uh, love one another. Because what the world need now is love and but, you know. Everyone in totality disagrees. Quote to y'all. I'm just saying. Uh, everyone in attendance saw the Chiefs in totality whoop on the Raiders. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we won 28-10. Watkins, y'all thought he was going to be scoring all game. Nigga, we got some rookies on the squad, you know what I'm saying? Number 11, Wallace, uh, I think it was it number 11, Robinson. I think, it was, I think that was the motherfucking name. He got a motherfucking touchdown. Yeah, man, that was a couple bullshit calls. It was like a fumble. Not a fumble, an interception. No, it was a fumble. We got an interception, but they got a fumble on like fourth quarter. But that shit didn't fucking matter because, yeah, it was still 2018. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles in the Kansas City Chief Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? The W was what we was looking for, and that's what, the, that's what we got. You know what I mean? So I just want to salute to all my Kansas City Chief fans out there. You know what I mean? Uh, don't mind my disclosed location. It's a, it's a secret. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, if y'all have not watched this uh, revolt discussion, political discussion, with Killer Mike and T.I. and that lady, Candace, whoever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> In totality, you probably should watch that shit. You know what I mean? But, uh, it's been another episode of Fuck Your Couch and my Kansas City Chiefs has won. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, you owe me some money, nigga? <laughs> Fuck your couch, Victor Indica. Peace. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, duh. Trump ever say that? That's, that's, a, that's a fallacy. When did Trump ever say black people are Make the problem? Make America great again. That's when he said it. Guys, that but was But I'm Ron not on the panel. That so was I Ronald make sure Reagan's slogan. Was that racist when Ronald... Yes, let me ask oh, you. So that's, oh, that's please slogan ask me. Is racist. It's 420 somewhere. Can't you tell? We see me guys on the day. Uh, this blunt is brought to you by Lamota, and it's called uh, Jack the Ripper, and it's rolled in a sweet wood, not a backwood. You know what I'm saying? But please roll woods. And uh, cousin Maya wrote this, and it's hitting like a champ, bro. Mm. Thought that I didn't know what I was talking about when I said that thing I said that I said about that thing that I said about the smoking eyes. Yeah. The fuck did I just hear? Did she just do the pussy pack? And the lonely bird sing. <laughs> this has been another episode of Fuck Your Couch with Victor Indica. Thank you for watching.